Food Network went on the air 15 years ago, and since then, American cuisine has reinvented itself. You know, this is a network that literally changed the way America eats. You talk about the Food Network and everyone's eyes light up. They're like, oh, I watch the Food Network. It's become this iconic destination. It's suddenly, like, food is cool, and chefs are cool, and cooking is cool. People are so much more connected to the food that they're eating, they're cooking, they're shopping. Food Network taught all of us that you don't have to be a food snob to be a food lover. You can love food and love it in any way. I love the Food Network. I'll watch it during the holidays, like 24 hours a day. It's kind of a nice escape at the end of the day. I love it. Oh, we I love, love the Food, food Network. Network. It seems like there are all these Food Network aholics out there, and what better idea than to take that and capture it and put it into the print form? Food Network came out with a magazine, yeah, I'd totally buy it. It would be great to have something that I could have in my hands and actually flip through and refer to as opposed to just DVRing Food Network, which is what I normally do. So imagine that you can open up the magazine and have whatever you love most about the Food Network right then and there in your hands. It's right there in front of you, colored pictures. We're actually seeing the recipes in front of you and holding the paper. And there's a lot of things that you can do in a magazine that we can't necessarily do on television. It makes it a little easier when it's written down than when you see it on TV. A word that comes up again and again when people talk about Food Network is diversity. If you look at the kinds of foods that American eats, it's dazzling compared to just a decade ago. Whether it's barbecue or fish fries or fine dining in the best restaurants around the country. You know, when you think about Food Network, you think about all of these great personalities. Fairfield for Contessa. I like Alton Brown's show, too. Michael Chiarello, I like a lot. Jamie, Jamie Oliver. Oliver. Something special is going to happen in there. Paula Dean. <laughs> People know them by their first names. There's Alton and Bobby and Emeril and Jada. I mean, we could go on and on and on. I mean, chefs are rock stars these days. We have all of the pros, you know, in our family. Each issue would, you know, offer Bobby Flay's take on something and Paula right. Dean's take and Jamie Oliver's one. Their voices are going to be heard in every single magazine. The magazine is one more step to bring these personalities closer to us. I want to see how they all cook at home, day to day. Get up. What do they make for breakfast in 10 minutes? If you can kind of get more in depth with these guys. And they're people who have gardens, they're people who have wives. It's always taking my sugar. <laughs> We're really gonna take you behind the scenes so that you can see how some of these shows come together. I like to think of this as kind of the ultimate backstage pass to Food Network. The one thing about a magazine, if I could draw the analogy, it's like cooking. You know, it's very tactile. A magazine would be a lot more intimate than a television mm -hmm. viewing experience. A magazine would be a perfect idea for me. That's all I need is like a little partner, a little like buddy. It's all about having fun. Perfect, amazing. We're gonna have weeknight dinners and weekend dinners and health news and great travel finds and tips from the pros. I mean, it's really all the great things about the Food Network packaged and in your hands. And fun. Nice. Fun, fun. <laughs> We're very, very excited to have this sort of meeting of the great minds coming together to produce a really top-notch magazine for our fans. Food Network magazine, it's about time.